Hello Guardians, it's that time of the week again where Zer returns, and he's on Nessus at the Watcher's Grave. Let's see what he's got. He's got the Arbulist Linear Fusion Rifle. And for Hunter, he's got the Raju Harness Chest Armor 62 roll. For Titan, the Eon Safe 68 roll. And for Warlock, the Stag 65 roll. Legendary Weapons, You've got the True Prophecy Hand Cannon with Rangefinder and Rampage, not bad. The Shepherd's Watch Sniper Rifle with Outlaw and Osmosis. The Legal Action 2, you must love this thing, with Feeding Frenzy and Rampage. Then we got the Decide Shotgun again with Surplus and Elemental Capacitor. Then we got the Ecolos Sniper Rifle. This one's craftable, and this has Overflow, Elemental Capacitor, and Rasputin's Arsenal. Then we've got the Falling Guillotine Sword. This is a Vortex Frame with Enduring Guard, Relentless Strikes, and Counter Attack. And then we've got the Heavy Grenade Launcher, Memory Indict, which has Clown Cartridge, and a Disruption Break. Hawk Moon has Quick Draw. Moving on to the Legendary Armor set, which is the Warmind set, which is one of my favorite sets. So for Hunter, on the arms, we've got 54, chest, 47, helmet, 54, and legs, 48. And for Titan, on the arms, we got 55, on the chest, 50, on the helmet, 55, and on the legs, 57. And for Warlock, on the arms we got 51, on the chest we got 53, on the helmet 53, and on the legs 48. Pick up what you need. And what did you like the look of? My pick here, out of all of this, is probably the True Prophecy Hand Cannon. That's not a too bad a roll. I hope you're having fun with Zero Hour, and don't forget to have a great day, Guardians.